Hello, welcome to another video. This is the third USB power adapter video, and this one is for a bunch of USB A adapters. I won't have links to these, but at least we can start to get an idea of where the various USB A adapters fall in the grand scheme of things. As is typical with my videos, I'll do a bit of a deep dive into the power analysis of each of these devices. The previous videos will be linked above and in the description. First is a Google USB A adapter, 5 volts out and 850 milliamps. Next is a Motorola USB A adapter, also 5 volts and 850 milliamps. This came with the original Droid phone. A Sony USB A adapter with 5 volts and 1.5 amps. This came with the camera I'm shooting with right now. The old Apple 10 watt brick is next, followed by an older Apple 5 watt brick. There are two generic USB A power adapters. And I'll also do the newer 5 watt Apple brick. So getting started with the older Apple adapter, we can see right away that this is a fairly high idle power consumption. Let's plug in some USB, put a load on this device, and see how it handles that. It looks like it has no problems at all delivering the 5 watt load as rated, so still not broken, but the idle power consumption isn't good. Next is the first of two generic power adapters. Plugged in and no light. Does it work? Let's try a USB cable. And, oh, well wait, there it goes. A little blue light came on after a short delay. Let's see if I can get the USB cable plugged in the right way now. And wow, it is a bright light. I'm not sure they needed to put an LED in that bright, but lighting it up with less than one tenth of a watt, and not so bad. Let's turn on light duty load and no problem there. Now let's crank it up to five watts and see how it does. No problem there at all. Okay, I'm gonna put the next few adapters on the speed condition and I'll be back to share the results. Stay tuned, there are a few surprises. Okay, first surprise. The two Apple adapters are not identical. The newer adapter has much lower idle power consumption, so beware of the A1265 5 watt adapters. These use a fair amount of electricity just being plugged in, and they should be replaced by something newer like the A1385. Now let's take a look at the results. First, looking at the idle power and idle power quality scores, these adapters generally all performed in the same range except two which had higher than normal idle power consumption. Two adapters did very good here, the Sony and the Google adapter. Here's a graph. It has a few spoilers on future devices on it too. The higher and more left the dot on the graph, the better. Most of the adapters are in a fairly tight cluster. That older Apple adapter and that one generic adapter really stand out from the bunch though. Next, let's look at the average power consumption and the average power quality scores. So obviously the average power consumption is gonna be higher for higher power class devices, so this isn't a penalty. In general, under load, we can see that the power quality of these devices is almost identical. The Sony stands alone as the leader under load. The graph also shows the same conclusion. The Sony stands higher on the graph compared to its similarly rated counterparts, all tightly clustered towards the bottom. A few more spoilers on this graph. There will be some things to talk about and that Anchor product isn't the top of the stack for long. Thanks for watching, and I will have a bunch more videos coming out on this general topic. 
I will be getting back to some of the other projects too, but I had a small group of these and I wanted to get it done. Hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for more power-related videos soon.